It's Franklin. Come in. We've got the warrant for the airport house. Okay, prep tactical and air support. Roger that. Clear right, we're clear overhead. Stand by, ready for takeoff. Roger that. SWAT and the bomb squad are already in route. Carry to ground units, we're airborne, ET to target seven minutes. Roger, Air 8. We are approaching target now. Air 8 to ground units, showing no activity. Clear to approach. Air 8 repositioning to outer marker. On my command, you'll make entry. These guys may have bomb-making materials. Bomb techs are standing by. After we hook them up, you're in and searching. Roger that. Initiate the plan. It's your hands! It's your hands! Get, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get down! Get on the ground! Captain, we've got ammonium nitrate fertilizer, igniters, timers, and these. Critical city infrastructures. Soft targets as well. Looks like a coordinated attack. This could have been a disaster. Captain, I think you need to see this. It started with a hotline call from a garden supply employee. This guy was just acting weird. Weird how? It didn't seem like a typical customer. It's pretty obvious he didn't know a thing about landscaping. He asked a lot of questions about pool and lawn chemicals, and he didn't even know which kind of grass he had. And then he wanted to order a huge amount of ammonium nitrate fertilizer. How much? Enough for two football fields. Well, he paid cash and loaded it in the van himself. I asked him if he wanted help, but he just ignored me. Ammonium nitrate. That was used in the Oklahoma City bombing. Did you get his license plate? No, the license plate was missing. But the van did have some damage on the side, and the taillight was busted. If you remember anything else, call me. Thanks for calling it in. Next, we get a suspicious activity report on the iWatch website from a security guard. Can you tell me more about the suspicious vehicle? We saw a white truck on three separate shifts parked in the red zone. Now, this isn't unusual, but no one got out to load or unload anything. And then the last time it happened, the driver just gets out and he hangs around. Looks like he's taking pictures. Could have been a dry run. See if you're paying attention, maybe take pictures of your surveillance cameras. No, I saw that in that iWatch website. That's why I called it in. Thanks. Call me if you see that truck again. We'll dispatch a patrol unit. At this point, we didn't have a link between the guy with the fertilizer and the truck in front of the office building. Then we get a call from a citizen, and things all start to link together. According to your hotline call, you're concerned about your new neighbors. Well, at first it was just the noise waking me up. But then I looked to see what they were doing. They were unloading gas cans and large bags from the van. I could smell diesel fumes. How many people are living there? I saw three of them. Two guys and a woman. Anything about the van? White. Scraped on the side. Call me if you see any more unusual behavior. But don't make contact. We do a drive by the house. Don't see a van, but we see a truck. The truck plates match the partial from the security guard. Who owns the house? It's a rental. The landlord gave us the tenant's ID from the rental agreement. Next, we show the picture to the garden supply guy and the next door neighbor. Both say it's the same guy driving the van. Did you run the photo by the FBI? Yeah, he's not wanted but he has been photographed with an overseas terrorist. We show a photo of the terrorist to the security guard who ID'd him as the guy driving the truck. Now we know the incidents are linked. These tips really helped us piece it all together. 
I think we have enough of a warrant, and I think we have to act fast. Agreed. Get the warrant. Take these guys down. What you've just seen is an example of how your community, local law enforcement, and federal agencies can work together by sharing information to prevent terrorist attacks. The iWatch program depends on you. If you see suspicious behavior, call the number below or visit the iWatch website. Your community needs your vigilance so we can stop terrorism before it happens.